everybody. Hope y'all are doing good. We're here at uh, the Big House, Exodus Ministries Big House again, and uh, we're going to record uh, a little song for you uh, called It Is Well. But before we do that, we have some folks that sent us some messages about some different stuff, so we're going to talk about that. Yeah, this is great. Uh, we're getting emails from folks asking us questions about stuff, and um, just generally thanking us for what we're doing and all that. And we're so appreciative of every one of you that's watching us on YouTube, that's sending us emails, that's checking out our website. And we encourage you to continue to do that and encourage your friends to do that. Subscribe to Heather's, uh, Heather Barry Mabe, her YouTube channel. Check us out at tonyandheather.org for our calendar and everything else that's coming up. But right now, we're going to answer some emails, and we got one here from Logan. He says, my name is Logan. I'm a fellow gospel singer. I love to watch you on YouTube, and she, they like that we do the auto harp thing. So uh, Logan wants to learn to play the auto harp, but can't find one anywhere. Do we have any suggestions on where to get one? And Tony, we were talking about that the other day, about what to look for in an auto harp. Uh, so maybe you can help Logan out. The, uh, there's a place on the internet. I really, you should uh, probably just go and do a Google search for Auto Harp or Oscar Schmidt. I'm not sure how you spell that last name. But um, I would suggest getting a 21 bar. There's a 15 and a 21. Um, Oscar Schmidt sells one called an OC73, and that's probably the best one you can get. You're looking at uh, maybe $300 with it in the case. And uh, when you when you order something like that uh, from a place like uh, the Auto Harp store, uh, there's money back guarantee, and they're they're all pretty consistent. So that's probably the best way to go about it. Oscar Schmidt OC73. I bet you you'll find one on eBay if you check it out. Thanks for your email, Logan. We really appreciate it. Here's one from Cassie Rhines, and. Uh, Big fan of our music. St just started singing in church recently. God bless you. Praise Keep God. it up. That is just awesome. And uh, her and everyone else that's emailed is asking us if we have other CDs available. Uh, that's the main question is wanting to know if we have any left. Uh, Heather, you want to let the cat out of the bag? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're working on another CD right now, um, as a matter of fact, and the, the song um, that we're going to be singing is from that new CD. We're really, really excited, so uh, um, it'll be a while, right? Yeah, we're looking at, uh, right now, at Lord willing, end of June, we'll be releasing another one, so pray for us. Yeah. Uh, help us, uh, let, have God help us through the production process because we want to bring the best we can to you. Especially uh, me. Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to do one more email before we do our song. And um, this one is from Mark Acklin. He's from Canada. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and read what Mark wrote here and then we're going to move along. He says, My wife stumbled upon a YouTube video of Heather singing Keep on the Sunny Side. She would like to sing it in church in a month or so, and she let me attempt to back her up on the banjo while she's playing guitar. Okay? Well, um, basically, Mark says that he really enjoys uh, Tony's banjo videos, and it's really encouraging to him, and he's getting a lot of great information out of it. And uh, Mark, you said you actually have a Jaroslav uh, Pruka uh, banjo, and uh, we've talked about those. I think they're pretty cool. Um, but anyway, again, he was wanting to know if we had other CDs available, so we just let y'all know. But um, Tony, uh, why don't you just give Mark a little advice about those Pruka banjos? Have you had any experience with them? Or? Uh, I have. I met uh, Mr. Pruka at uh, the IBMA convention. I, I don't know, it must have been around 2005, and I used to talk to him and kind of hang out with him a little bit every year. And I bought a lot of parts for him. I used to build banjos. and. Uh, Really nice guy. His stuff is, is the best it is, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I think one of the questions he had was about making it sound a little brighter, a little uh, sharper. Uh, your instrument is the same thing as a Gibson Master Tone, so uh, it, it's just in the setup. Maybe tighten the head. Maybe go to a, a change a couple of bridges. Uh, sometimes a little lighter string. And I think most of what you're hearing, you said yours seems a little mellower. 
Uh, it, it's in the setup. It's not the instruments. You don't need to change uh, change instruments at all. And uh, I think he asked me what type of banjo that I was using. Uh, uh, I had been using a, a Deering Eagle II, and it is a little mellower sounding instrument. Uh, the particular one that I'm playing right now is a Crafters of Tennessee made by Mark and Tut Taylor. Uh, there, some people call them the Tennessee 20 banjo too. And uh, the, these are a little bit on the brighter side. But uh, yeah, yours should be perfect. Uh, it'll do whatever you want to do. It's just in the setup. Awesome. Well, Mark, thanks for your email. Yeah. Um, if you need to clarify, us to clarify those answers for you, Mark, just shoot another email to you and we can get to you on a, a little more deal. But, um, thank you all for your emails. Keep those coming in. We're so encouraged that, that you're asking questions and that you appreciate what we're doing. Uh, subscribe to the, to the YouTube site. Uh, again, you can go to TonyandHeather.org and uh, you can go to the YouTube site or the Facebook page from there. And just stay connected with us. We really appreciate it, and it really encourages us to keep going. So thank you to everybody. Yep. On to the song. On to the song. I'm going to sing it on the I love this song so much. So, uh, wherever you are, throw your head back and worship with us and declare it. No matter what comes, it is well with my soul. Yeah.
There you have it. <laughs> See you next time.